what is up you guys it's your spiritual fairy godmother and i am back okay except for i am not back with another reading or a vlog i'm back with worry about you okay because god told me to tell y'all to stop settling okay this is the year that we are choosing our destiny okay so it came to me y'all like a lot of the shit that i've been going through i've been trying to push through and just be grateful okay and i'm not saying i'm not grateful i'm not saying it's a bad thing um i'm not saying none of that however i'm not satisfied i'm not okay with i'm not happy with being grateful ain't got nothing to do with all those other things i just named right and for a long time, I feel like I compare my situations to other people. Like, other people's situation is worse. I should be thankful. Other people be homeless. I should be grateful. Other people going through um, not having no food on the table. I should be grateful for the little shit I got. Or people out here don't got no car. I should be grateful for mine. Or whatever the case may be. I have spent a lot of times trying to convince myself that I have to, where are you going? Get over here. That's my dog, y'all. <laughs> I don't know where she, I can't see her. But I have spent months, okay? I've spent years, years, okay? Um, since I've been on my own, I would say, since I've been an adult, trying to convince myself that because i don't have it worse off as other people that i have to settle for things that i'm not okay with especially relationships i noticed that like in certain relationships and even my friends used to tell me like well girl at least he not doing this or at least he not doing that or at least he paid your bills but i'm unhappy in these situations or I'm unhappy with what is attached to my circumstance. Like, when you continue to allow something to hurt you, it's going to persist. If you continue to allow your child to get away with the same behavior, ain't they going to keep doing it? Because they're going to be like, well, why not? This year, I feel like God keeps telling me, like, you got to know your worth. Stop getting mad and blaming other people for how they treat you for them not knowing your worth when a lot of the times they don't know their own. Because again, how we treat people is a reflection of how we treat ourselves. So if I'm constantly allowing people to mistreat me, what does that say about me? I'm the first person to mistreat me. I'm the first person to hurt me because I allowed that energy, because I allowed certain things to happen to me. At some point, we got to learn to take accountability. And I feel like that's where I am. I wonder if I can sit y'all up on this tree. And can, okay? At some point, we have to learn to take accountability for the situations and the circumstances that we allow ourselves to be in. Especially when God already tells you to move, okay? My biggest example is me working at that job, y'all. Like, Kennedy, come here. It's a man walking past. And she is a reactive dog. But for months, I knew that I wanted to start school. For months, I knew that things, how the drunk people and the, the drug addicts were abusing me and being mean to me and berating me and how my boss was treating me, putting all this responsibility on me, nitpicking me for months. For months, I knew that God was asking me to move. However, my faith wavered. My faith was not intact, even though I'm hard-headed because God had already shown me through evictions, through grief, through losing my children, through everything, that God was gonna show up like no matter what. God had already showed me that. God had already told me that. 
And it was like I didn't believe it. And I don't know why. I had already seen that it was true. I had already seen that God was so much more capable of doing things for me than any human being could do for me. So instead of leaving and doing what was best for me, it was like I had to be forced out of some shit. I had to be pushed out of some shit that wasn't okay for me that made my situation so much worse when I literally could have just walked away and it's only going to get worse like I feel like that's the message in this it's only going to get worse what you continue to allow to happen to you it may be comfortable at first it may be easy at first staying in that relationship with that man who paying your bills but cheating on you but eventually your self-esteem is going to be affected. Your self-worth is going to be affected. How you see yourself, you know, your next relationships are going to be affected by something you thought felt so comfortable, by something you thought felt so easy. When deep down, you know it wasn't okay. You knew it wasn't okay before it happened. But once it happened, you were so used to your comfortable that you didn't you didn't want to try something harder. You didn't want to leave. You didn't want to walk away. Leaving your parents' house. It's hard. Leaving a certain career path, a field that you done studied and built up all these student loans for. It's hard. But staying there, experiencing racism or misogyny or um, work bullying, that's harder. It plays a role on your mental. Is anybody around? Oh, yes, yeah, kids playing um, kickball. I want to let her go so she could just run and have fun and be free. But I'm scared. See, why don't I trust the fact that I've trained my dog well enough that she not, she good. Fear is the killer of faith. I don't want to let fear win no more. For a long time, like, I blame my mom and I blame Jonathan, especially Jonathan. Like, when I was having those babies, he didn't want to have no more. He didn't want to have rhythm. She was an accident. He didn't want to have her. He was scared. And it was like, I was so mad at him because I knew that God told me I could have a baby. I knew that God told me that. And I still believe to this day I was right. I could not see my life without her. How I'm going to advocate to the world. What I'm going to do for other bereaved mothers. That's because of them. My children. And even Rhythm, she got further along than Zion, so... To me, it's baby steps. It's me taking a leap of faith. You know, like, I can't blame my mom for being scared. <laughs> it's crazy, y'all. I see two dogs over there running around at each other. The same thing that my dog used to do with her other dog friend. It's like, people are so similar, you know? Animals, nature, God. God loves us all the same. And I just feel like nothing is impossible. You know, like, you can see me right now. I don't want to look the dog in the face because I don't want the dog to come over here, I'm bored. You know? And it's like, you can just see in my eyes, in my face, in my laugh, in my walk, how fearful I am. But this year, I'm going to do it scared. This year, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to take a... I'm going to bet on me. Because... I be wanting other people to bet on me. I want, I want the man that I love to see me for me. And bet on me. Bet on the fact that we could do this. I will want my friends or... Um, whoever going to come across my videos. I will want YouTube to bet on me. 
and be like, shit, we finna pay you all these G's because you gonna bring in this. You're gonna contribute to us. I want everything and everybody to bet on me. But I'm not betting on myself. Because I'm scared of losing it all. That's what gambling is. I, I don't want to gamble with my life, but at the same time, What's the latter? What's the other option? Being miserable and telling myself I got to, I deserve this. A lot of times we punish ourselves more than God ever could with our thoughts and our our projections and how we speak to ourselves, and that's what I'm doing. I'm telling myself that I deserve to be in this position because of certain things that I've done or how I've treated people or my anger issues or seeing these kids play in this park is so beautiful to me like they being kids and they young I truly see it all for me. I see myself having everything. And I don't need nobody else to see it. I don't need my bank account to show it. I don't need my clothes to be fancy. I don't need to... I don't, I don't need nothing. I don't need the highest credit score or the biggest mansion to be in the finest university. All I need is God. Like, and sometimes I just wish that people could believe in God how I do, but it's only for validation. It's not because I want them to, to feel God, it's because I want them to feel me. And I think God is using me. God is using me to talk to people and to show people they don't matter how it looks. I be coming out the house crazy in the same clothes every day. You probably think I ain't even showered. But really, this is literally my walking my dog outfit. Because guess what? I love being naked. <laughs> so I get out the shower and I'm in a robe, in a crib. I'm clean. I'm fresh. But when I take my dog out, I'm finna throw this right back on. Like, <laughs> Get back in the house, take it right back off. So I'm learning, like, it don't matter what it look like. So many women I've come across the past couple years look so beautiful. You think they got so much money. You think they in a perfect relationship. But behind closed doors of what they ain't telling you, that nigga is horrible to them. Ain't even got to be uh, physical abuse, mental, emotional. And I hurt for women. I hurt for my community. Like living here, living in Milwaukee, I grew up very sheltered. I didn't really know about drug addicts in the hood, and the and I lived in the hood because shit, it's the hood. Like <laughs> Milwaukee is one big ass fucking hood, but I didn't know that it was like this until I got older. Until I forced, until I got an eviction, until I had no options. But to be here, I got complacent in a job that I knew wasn't paying enough to, for me to survive. Having rent and having to scrape up everything else, like barely having rent some months. I got complacent because looking for another job meant what? Having to start over. Starting over scared the shit out of me. I don't want to be scared no more. I'm done being scared. I'm moving into new territory. I want, I want fabulous. That is my good request. All things fabulous, better and better and best. Okay, High School Musical, come on. Hey, girl. <laughs> I 
I don't know, y'all. God just put it on my spirit and on my heart to give y'all a word this morning, this evening, this afternoon, whatever time it is that you're catching this playback. I um I want y'all to have faith this year. Take a leap of faith on something. Brother, starting a new workout journey. You scared. You think it's gonna be hard. You know, you out of breath all the time. You a bigger person or what if maybe you got an illness and you got to, God is going to force you to. Bless you. God telling you to leave your hometown. God telling you to leave that job, leave that relationship, leave that toxic mother, toxic father. Don't be scared to start over. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Share it on all your social medias. And I'm out of here, y'all.